Hey guys, um, it's me again, and uh, I just wanted to introduce a new video uh, all about turkey hunting. It's on me. Um, speaking of hunting, there's some deer eating up our plants in the backyard. Look at this. Yep. Up to no good. Okay. But, uh, this time, um, I'm going to introduce a new video about the, uh, slate call. It's, uh, some people think it's a really hard call to master, but it's really not. I've had it for a few days, and it seems like I already got it down. So, uh, let's get it rolling. Let's see, the first call to start off with is the yelp, like always. For the yelp, all you need to do is make little ovals about the size of your thumbnail on with the striker. Like this. See? Slate call is famous for its purr. To do a purr, all you do is slide the striker real slowly against the slate, like this. You can change it up and change a purr into a yelp. See now, to do the cluck, all you do is get the striker and you kind of want to, not really hit, but just, you know, move it about, about one eighth of the way, to, all the way down, just like, it's easy. One thing about the slate call is, you're never supposed to touch the actual friction pad part because uh, it'll leave this really like dark streak on it, and whenever you try to strike on it, it'll just it won't produce the right noises. But uh, it, if you happen to, or I don't know, if it just looks kind of dirty, you just use your little cleaning pad or whatever your sleep call people provided you and just scrub it scrub it down and just blow all the dust away and uh you ready to call in a gobbler